At guard, a six foot six inch senior, number 14, Tyrese Halliburton. What can we expect in Division I? Yesterday's semifinals both went down to the wire. To get us ready for the D1 state championship between Brookfield East and Oshkosh North, let's go courtside to Chris Wettler and Lance Vieser. We'll start with Oshkosh North. They're very talented. They came in as the top seed, and they have two dynamic players, Quincy Anderson and Tyrese Halliburton. Either one can go off at any point. So smooth, but at the same time, attack north and south so well off the, off the ball screen. I'm just so happy to be able to play with these guys. We battled through the entire game. Um, you know, they went on a run, but we kept our head up. They're going to connect on that three. Halliburton down that boot. Damn. 31 on attack on this one three one. Tyrese Halliburton. Quincy Anderson continuing his stellar performance. Cartier is going to make a move on strike. Spins and shows off the nice touch over to Simon. And then it's going to be Hofer trying it for three. They're not going to down as Thomas Frank. Nice find. And Cartier for the finish. A nice cut by Cartier for the finish. Oh, maybe a potential flop strike trying to get the ball. Oh, instead. Oh, oh, oh. Good over first. Guys fought all game. He came down the last play, but our, everyone played well all game. It was really team effort. Up and in for Patrick Cartier. And Brookfield East for the first time in school history is moving on to the state title game. Bench Doyle really step up as well. We have the tip underway and it will go the way of Oshkosh North here in the early going. Sam McGathy got a little bit of a hand on it. We're headed the other way as Halliburton tips it into our waiting laps here. Halliburton known for his steals, over 90 plus steals. Gets hands on balls and turns them into run out dunks. Brookfield East now trying to run. Here's Patrick Cartier oh, throwing it down. Oh, he has expanded his game. It shows up in just the last two games, running the court, touching the paint, stepping out. Here's Anderson to Halliburton. Back to Anderson. Open look for three. He hits it. He is smooth. Deep three-point shirt, but ready to shoot. As fast as he can go, he can pick it up, pull up, hit the jet. And ran him off the arc, pushed him to the paint. Halliburton tries a spin move fadeaway, <laughs> and that one's uh, pretty much on guard. He's got no fear, he's got good length. The one thing he did, he caught his bounds, gathered himself, he knew he had the height advantage. Measured it up, knocked it down. Got to punch gaps, but still be able to pull back dribble like you just saw. Drive, pull back, create space. There's a three oh, from Coker. Ready to shoot, but it touched the elbow. Touched 44, made everybody. Cartier find the open man. Made him pay. Really like to see a ball screen on, from Cartier's man. Instead, it's an open look for Anderson. He connects again. Like you said, 43% from the arc. That's like shooting about. And that one rattles around as he ended up on the ground. Great look. He's just a little off balance. No look pass there. And we're going to get an and one on the other end. Great no look from Halliburton as he sends it over. And we have the and one. And that's going to be Sheik. That is Abe Sheik. Did a great job keeping his chin on the rim, but you just got a little bit of flavor of what Oshkosh North can do once they get out in the flow of traffic. They can make it pay. They send it around. Poker will try from a little too deep. Simon almost got another stick back. Instead, it's Halliburton looking to turn it the other way. This is what he wants. Oh, wow. We have the body up by McGaff. He didn't need to foul Halliburton there, though, because I think Cartier was coming in strong to take care of that. Again, he, we saw this a lot the other, last night, how he times things. He waits for the guy to leave his feet, then he goes and gets it. Halliburton will shoot two, the Iowa State recruit. We mentioned he's been Gatorade Player of the Year. He has been phenomenal. Came into this tournament averaging 23 points per game. Also led the team with 158 assists coming into the semifinals. Does such a great job getting the mo mojo going for it, getting the flow. It's going to be Halliburton. 
He lets it dribble by itself and then picks it and pops. A three at the buzzer by Tyrese Halliburton will push the lead for Oshkosh North to six. And this pace favored Brookfield East, but basically just hitting enough shots and getting just enough turnovers as Oshkosh North. Those hands outside the, outside the body. Again, presence of mind, poise, knocks it down. We mentioned Brad Weber in his first year, and we're betting he's pretty happy with this first half. He's with our Amy Gill. For Brookfield East, as we see McGath hit one, and then at the buzzer, it is Halliburton there. As we check out some of the first half stats from this game, we mentioned points off turnover steals, probably the difference right now. Here's a kick into the corner, no good. Goes off the side of his hands and into Oshkosh North's waiting arms. Up ahead, Duke Dang finishes. Excellent pass, eyes on the rim. Great catch though in the end. Anderson will try the three. He <laughs> answers like a senior should. Smooth, smooth and smooth. He came out, he knew it was going up. Out there ends up with the basketball. Turnover though. Halliburton's gonna go Excellent right lead. at both of behind the back. <laughs> North and South, nose to the rim, hard, just hard drive, good wall off in the defense and they made him pay. Again, eyes up, presence of mind. And this is Alliburton <laughs> making a veteran move there. Again, so good at taking a turnover, a live turnover, making him pay, done it all year. Halliburton, the conference co-player of the year with Jordan McCain. Not a bad duo there to have in the conference. Here by Simon. Tough defender on him. Halliburton's going to try to just fight through the hand foul there. It looks like I think they're going to get Simon for the foul as Cartier also came up to stop that penetration. Wall of position. It gives a reason for the referee to blow the whistle. Kind of mixed up, and that allowed Simon to find the gap. Second one is good. Halliburton perfect from the line, five for five now. They work it around to poker, short. Online just wasn't there. Here's Halliburton again, pushing and again finishing. What he does so well is he changes speeds, but at the same time, he can step through even at high level speed. Eyes are up, reads the D, nice step through. Finishes with a little panache. They give him the and one <laughs> on the continuation, if you will. And Tyrese Halliburton and company are pumped up here. Halliburton up to 14 points. Halliburton is still perfect from the free throw line. Six of six up to 15 points. Feeling it uh, off the dribble. And he will draw yet another foul. You get the impression that Halliburton's kind of seen green. He's vocal, but at the same time, he's poised, presence of mind. Hits them both. Next foul, they're going to be in the double bonus. Anderson, Halliburton really like the ball in their hands. They like to get to the line. Halliburton left wide <laughs> open from five feet beyond. He shushes the opposing crowd after hitting that three. Big smile on his face, make it 13 straight for Halliburton. He has 20. Going left, draws a triple team actually. And quick whistle there. They're going to get poker. Working their way up the line, playing an incredibly tough conference. As you mentioned Kakana in their conference. Also, a little if you well, will, he just gave him a little wink. <laughs> Albert says, I am under complete control, and he has been in the second half. He has been phenomenal. And we're going to get a hand check foul there. I think McGaff will get tagged for it. And that was the fifth foul for Sam McGaff, so the talented sophomore for Brookfield East will end his season on the bench. And it was a good season, and he helped lead Brookfield East to a victory in the semifinals. Looks like they might come up short here in this one as Tyrese Halliburton and company will likely be able to ice this one away for the free throw line. The lead now for Oshkosh North, and Halliburton's gonna add it to his point total here. He's up to 24 right now. We'll see where it ends. Been solid, made the most of their players, gotten better and better, played to their played to their abilities in the sense of what they could bring to the table, and that's a credit to Coach Shady. There's a couple of more for Halliburton. They will foul Halliburton. 
He's at 26 points. He gets it. He proved that last night. And a permanent smile throughout this game <laughs> as he's just seemingly telling jokes to himself out there as he's enjoyed it that much. Sometimes it's just a smile sets the ease, sets the tone. Makes it look, he looks like he's shooting in the backyard. 16 of 16 from the line is Halliburton. <laughs> How about that for a free throw percentage? And add a block to the total as well. They'll get Doyle for the push on Sheik. Haven't seen many go 16 for 16 from the line in a game. Here's Halliburton. We'll see if he's just going to pull back, and he will try and run out the clock with 18 seconds left as we're going to get some mass substitutions now. And the Oshkosh North crowd is rising to their feet. They know what is about to happen is school history. Green matches the day. It's fitting. And there might be a lot of pressure on this free throw right here for Halliburton. He's 17 for 17. You can't miss the last one, can you, Coach? I tell you, with that smile, I don't think it's going to matter. Most free throws made in a game. How about that? 19. That's a long time ago. There's a reason that record has stood for that long. That is a lot of free throws. Now Halliburton's dancing out there. One more will give him 30 and keep his perfect day from the line intact. Oh, the prior. He made us question it. <laughs> Instead, he will get a standing ovation as he walks off the court. Tyrese Halliburton, 30 points, five rebounds, and one state championship. Yeah, big players make big plays on the big stage. And nobody bigger than this tonight. There it is, the buzzer sounds, and for the first time in school history, Oshkosh North is a state champion in boys basketball. As they celebrate, we will catch our breath and come back for the trophy presentation. Again, Oshkosh North, your Division I champions. A message now from your local station. This is your WIAA Network Station. Tyrese Halliburton. Congratulations to the Oshkosh North Spartans. Play of the game, it could be a free throw from Tyrese Halliburton because <laughs> we saw a lot of those, but I'm guessing it is not. Instead, we're gonna check out here, it is Halliburton going the other way. The play of the game brought to you by Marshfield Clinic Health System, offering virtual visits for the season's most common ailments. Care my way, go to marshfieldclinic.org to learn more. We're going to go ahead and talk to Tyrese Halliburton first. 30 points in this ball game, a perfect 18 of 18 from the line, which is very important because 21 points in the second half were scored mm -hmm. from the line. Mm -hmm. How crazy is it that that was a big part in winning the state title game? Uh, that's nuts, especially because I choked yesterday at the free throw line. So uh, I just talked to my AU coach. He just told me to breathe, take my time at the line. That's what I did today. You see I was probably a little bit more relaxed today, and I think that's what led to me hitting those free throws. Just talk about lifting that trophy up. I mean, it's been the dream for every talk about since third grade that moment when you finally got to lift up a state trophy was it heavier than you thought was it lighter do you remember it Quincy let's start with you a lot of student sections like to chant weight room at me and uh, that's the only thing don't know why that might be the only thing I can lift but uh, I'm okay with that so so yeah it, it wasn't it was whatever <laughs>